Hello. Um, hope everyone is doing well. Uh, I'm finally starting to feel better. Uh, I can start eating without, um, you know, any pain in my mouth and stuff like that. Or, you know, I still have some discomfort. But um, I want to thank all of you for your well wishes. Um, and now that I'm feeling better, I really want to um, ramble about something. And I really thought um, a video would be the best way for me to, you know, get this off my mind um, instead of trying to write about it. Um, I'm sure a lot of you are eagerly anticipating the release of The Hobbit, which will uh, come out in the U.S. on the 14th of this month, uh, which is like next week, next Friday, I believe. Um, but what some of you may not have known, or you might have heard about but dismissed, is the fact that some 27 animals died, not while filming, not on set, but off set, um, died, um, you know, while under the care of the production team, uh, responsible for, you know, making The Hobbit. And, um, you know, this is really upsetting. Um, the Humane Society is responsible for overseeing animals while on set. And according to, um, one of their statements that I read, the animals while on set were well cared for. But unfortunately there's some kind of loophole where the Humane Society does not have access to the animals off set and the 27 animals that died uh, were housed off set. Um, some of them did die from natural causes but there were quite a few of them that died because of the poor conditions of the farm and the housing. Um, that the animals were forced to live in. One animal was a pony named Rainbow who ended up dying from a broken back. Basically the land was unsuitable for uh, ponies and you know horses um, you know and they like to run and stuff like that and because the uh, terrain was so unstable um, apparently the pony was like um, you know, running along at top speed and ended up falling and broke its back. And it's not like they found the animal right away. Lord knows how long it was like in that state when they found him. Um, and obviously it had to be put down because it was such an, in a bad state. But, um, you know, stuff like this should not happen. You know, um, you know the production company has more than enough money to make sure the animals are in top condition and being housed and taken care of in like five star conditions. And I am a huge sci-fi fan and I was actually looking forward to this movie, you know, because I remember The Hobbit as a cartoon when I was growing up as a kid. So, you know, when Lord of the Rings came out, I thought it was cool and, you know, I, I have like the DVDs and all that stuff. and. Yeah, it, it was a great trilogy, and I was really looking forward to The Hobbit, but now after this, as an animal lover and advocate for animal welfare and, you know, well-being, I'm torn between protesting The Hobbit and not even bothering to go see it, um, or, you know, saying to hell with it. and you know, let me go see it just to get it out of my mind, but basically if you're an animal lover and you really believe in, you know, better welfare for animals and animal rights, you know, those of us out there that love animals really should not go see the movie and we should plaster Facebook and Twitter, um, you know, just urging people not to go see it if they love animals. If, if they are animal advocates and, you know, stuff like that, the best thing to do is not spend your money. We can write letters uh, to Peter Jackson and, what is it, like, whoever is doing it, Universal or whoever, I really don't care. I didn't feel like looking into it, but um, whoever the production company is, we can write letters, we can send emails, we can do, um, uh, you know, telephone calls and stuff like that, but in the end, what matters for these companies is money. And if 
we get the word out not to go see it, um, you know, that's going to hurt them because we will not be going to see the movie in the movie theaters, spending our money at these movie theaters, you know, spending the popcorn and all that other stuff. And, you know, that's what they see. That's what these production companies care about is the money. Um, more than likely, they had plenty of opportunity to get, like, perfect, you know, housing for these animals. But they figured, oh, we'll just stick them in this farm and, you know, offset, you know, out of mind, out of sight, out of mind, you know. And... And I, I know I'm rambling here, but you know, it's just really upsetting, and I'll probably be writing about this at some point, but really and truly, basically what I'm saying is if you really care about the animals in our world, regardless of how huge of a sci-fi fan and fantasy fan you are, and I'm like a big one, I'm, I'm a big sci-fi geek, and you know, I, I've met wonderful people on Facebook and stuff like that, and you know, unfortunately or unfortunately here in Guildford, you know, I, we really don't have that many sci-fi fans, so there's not really too many people for me to like, you know, rant at, but that's why I'm shooting this video. Um, you know, basically, you know, please, you know, consider not going, you know, because, you know, that's the best way for us to protest. and share with your friends that you're not going to go see the movie and instead you support movies in the long run that have uh, you know you know CGI and stuff like that um, you know kind of like what Planet of the Apes did um, because you know Rise of the Planet of the Apes because that movie was phenomenal and that was all CGI so why can't they start having CGI films you know um, you know instead of having all these animals on there where you know, what really bugs me I wonder how many animals died during Lord of the Rings you know and all of us have supported that movie you know we got the DVDs we got the t-shirts we got this we got that we, we've seen it like you know I, I saw every single one in the movie theaters at least twice and then every time it's on uh, TV I watch it so it just makes me wonder you know, how many other animals died because of this whole Hobbit Lord of the Rings trilogy and it has to end now. Stop giving them our money until they start cleaning up their act and taking care of the animals the way they should. Um, I'm sorry if this rambled on too much, but, you know, whatever. You know, that's about it. Um, as you can see, there is little Toby in the background, you know, sound asleep while I'm filming this, but, yeah, you know, basically it's up to you what you want to do. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be a big hit and the majority of people are going to go see it, but really and truly, honestly, if you are a big animal lover, you know, please consider not going and share that you're not going. You know, maybe, you know, if we get a nice little drop in the bucket of people not going to see it for this reason you know maybe that would wake up hollywood and they would start doing what's right okay well that's about it um talk to you guys later peace